How's it going, BattleBots fans? I am the Brain Goat, and welcome to BattleBots Reborn, episode 20. I can't believe we actually made it to number 20. And this is the uncut episode that um, people said they wouldn't mind seeing, so I figured we'd do it for the 20th special. Last time I got drunk, as some of you said, no, you're wrong, I really didn't. And I was thinking of doing that either again or something different, but can't really do weed since that's not legal in my state. So we're just going to have to do a very boring, unedited, uncut episode. Sorry to disappoint you guys. Um, yeah. So, today's episode, a couple more requests from you guys. And let me find them. Okay, they're both on Reborn 9. That's perfect. Well, you actually already know that, besides the fact that you're seeing them in the title. So first up... Let's go into the inventory of SOB, SOB, the middleweight dustbin robot from Season 4 and Season 5, which I actually didn't know he had a fight in Season 5, Season 4, my bad, um, until I looked him up for this episode, actually. He lost to Maggot, I think it was, then got revenge on him in Season 5 en route to his uh, title run, which ended in the final with T-. Um, his battle match record, let me look at my notes here, he's 8-2, obviously best finish in Season 5. Um, SOB, I always also thought it stand, stood for son of a bitch. What else could it have stood for? Apparently it stood for Sony Online Battlebot, according to the wiki page. Don't know what it's supposed to mean, don't really care. Let's go to our little molesting dustbin bot. It wasn't the hardest design to make. Um, I did also do the live building of SOB, so you kind of know how that went. Took, what, ten minutes maybe to make him? Um, besides making the body, just making it large enough in the base part here where the cursor is um, so I can get enough room for a big battery that was the only really stumble I had and then trying to line up the little side parts of the dustbin was also kind of difficult obviously we have this huge gap here where the dustbin would be and if this was a DSL of any sort there are very thin metal pieces you could put in there but for this for stock Robot Arena 2 there wasn't really anything we could do um, this is operated, obviously, slow motion. I can spin the saw independently from moving the arm. And the one problem that we will run into is that there's nothing really on the back that supports him from tipping back once he's already clamped a bot. You probably also saw that if you watched his live building episode of Reborn. So what we're going to do is for each bot today is about 10 minutes or three tournaments. We'll see what comes first and how they do in the tournaments. But... Probably about 10 minutes of coverage is what I'm thinking for each bot. Should be good enough, maybe a little less. And we're going to start, obviously, with SOB. And I think I'm going to try and look at my notes, too, and ask the questions that I had lined up for this episode while fighting. And I'm a terrible multitasker, so that's probably not going to go well. I'm probably going to stop mid-sentence, and you're going to be waiting for more. It's probably because something is happening in the fight. So I apologize if I do that. But we'll at least get a couple fights in with SOB normally. Let's lower that. And then I'll get to looking at the questions. Razor shouldn't be much of a problem. Part of the problem with SOB is remembering the controls. I have, for that little uh, servo motor, I have B and C on the, uh, on the keyboard telling me which one to do. C is bringing it down and V is going up. And I already messed it up a couple times in this fight. There's another one. It's also kind of heavy with the uh, saw and the motor. Wasn't coming down well there, coming up. The racer's just too big. I can't. Okay, there we go. Now we're running into plural problems. I can't speak. There we go. We got him. Yes. He's trapped. Go. Go, Michael Jackson on him. Yes. There we go. Ooh, big hit. You don't really get big hits with SOB or with this saw. He's just barely too big. That's. Okay, that's better. Almost tipped again. As, yeah, you can see he's tipping a lot. It's, it is a problem. It was a problem in some of the testing fights. But if you use him right, it's not bad. SOB, now that he's appeared in the Reborn series, he will be available for rematches. Um, I can only think of Team Minus as the only one he could do so far. T-Rex, I guess, was another one. I don't know if that was his quarterfinal or semifinal in the Season 5 run. I don't remember, but I know they did, fought and they did, they did fight. Pardon my English and SOB knocked out T-Rex by basically pinning him uh, the way that T-Minus did to him. So those are two fights that we can do. My hope for the rematches series though is to get as many bots as we can in first, give them one fight, and then start going to uh, doing other bots. 
for example, somebody suggested... I'm trying to think of some of the suggestions. I think one of them was Hazard and Misty, the Wonder Bot. That's why Misty appeared uh, last episode. But Hazard was in episode 2 of rematches with T-Minus. So once more bots are done, then other bots will start being eligible for the rematches. Also, for example, Warhead and Nightmare will be done, but both of them have appeared uh, already in the rematches series. So they will have to... That fight will have to wait, even though... I may actually just push that one forward. That's a big fight. Razor's almost done here. I didn't realize that. We've got 40 seconds left. Uh, that is a problem, too. We don't really get knockouts, so this there might be one tournament that we show here for SOB. I don't want to make it too long of a video because I want you guys to see the bots that you suggested here. Or if you didn't suggest them, at least see the bots. And for people that aren't subscribed, I want them to enjoy what we're doing here. Even though it is a 20-minute video. Hopefully they just... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we knocked him out. Holy shit! 14 seconds to spare! And we actually knocked him out! Impressive display! And we did it with under 3,000 points, which is also impressive. I, that should be a challenge. Okay. New series idea. Write this down, guys. Get some ideas for it. We're gonna dig, we're gonna take the Reborn Battle Bots and have a challenge. How, what bot can get the most points without getting a knockout? And then we can do what bot can get a knockout by getting the least amount of points. So for example, SOB just knocked him out with 29.45, I think it was. So that's the new mark to beat. We're gonna see if we can knock out a robot like with and not immobilizing a robot, actually breaking the control board. But that was sick. Okay, dementia is pretty tough. This one is gonna be a good test for Mr. SOB. I really hate dementia. And it doesn't make sense how he's able to take parts off you because he doesn't actually flip that spike until he's trying to flip himself over. So, like, if this was reversed, if he was pinning me into the corner and he was on his wheels, I'd, I'd lose parts somehow. I might just keep him here. I want to show more fights. I don't want this to go three minutes. Two. One. What? He didn't move! Suck yourself! He didn't move at all. That's bullshit. I had him. Oh, I'm pretty pissed off now. But we are causing a lot of damage, and he can't really get away. He is struggling. I want to see if I can get a wheel and then pin him again. I guess as long as we keep getting points. I see him blinking in the corner, even though I'm not quite looking at it. I know he's blinking. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we rack up the points. We damage the body. We got him. We got him. Dementia, he's going to be having nightmares about us tonight. He's not going to be able to sleep. Bang! Look at the bar go down. 2,500... 26, there it is. He's proven tougher to beat than Razor did. Okay, now we go. Can I... He's getting counted out, so I'm gonna win. I can't move my... Oh, he's about to take that off, so I gotta just pin him. I went for the knockout, but his spike was hitting my, my, uh, my arm. That was not gonna work. Okay, so we're at... We're at 8 minutes right now. See, look at that. Square Extender had 10 minutes of damage. And if I kept going, I would have lost it. We would have been in trouble. Welcome like, we're about to be in trouble because we have to face Tornado. So this will probably be, probably be the end of our reign here with SOB. Not really a reign. I meant to say uh, this might be the end of him filming. I actually think Tornado was the first bot I fought after building SOB. Well, oh, what the hell? That did not make any sense. Okay, the saw's about to... We're, we're gonna lose. The saw's coming off. And I can't... It's spinning the wrong way. Tornado spins the wrong way, so he's always gonna hit my motor first before I can get a shot on him with the saw. And we're flipped. That's a problem. And see, now I can barely get... Okay, there we go. I got it up pretty well. What do I feel like the saw's not spinning? I don't remember hitting space. Okay, it's over. We're going for the pin technique. And I'm just gonna skill quit, not rage quit, if it doesn't work. But it might, because I'm shifting and he's not. I don't know who that is. That might be me. That's him. He's... We got him. We got him. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Yes! We did it! We got the bullshit win on Tornado. We got the bullshit win on Dementia. Oh, my. Okay, we took so much damage. The motor is fucked, so it's going to be smoking next round. Saw blade, better fix that. Minute nine, so we'll just do that and that. And... Bushido, fuck! That's going to be a problem. 
So this will be the last one of SOB. He's made the finals. He's done very well. Chop, 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 chop. Go, go, go. Look at the points. Look at that. So the only problem is we can cause... Oh, he's going to cause damage if we stay like that. He, we can cause damage to each other at the same time, but he has a better chance of getting those big shots on me. Also, sorry if the uh, if the lighting on me goes out of focus. I haven't really figured out how to do the lighting properly in my room yet. You can probably see the garbage bag that's hanging over my window behind me. Um, I'm actually filming this midday, and the lighting is bad with my window. It was it was worse than what it is now. If I can chop off that fucking arm, no, not that fucking arm. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe I can flip him. My arm is what's left of my arm is now cut under him. Bring him to the corner! Okay. No, the other way. Shit. Come on! There, yep. Yep. Yep, got him. I don't think he's gonna be able to get away. This could be the worst way to win a title. With all these bullshit victories. Oh shit, that's me. We're gonna have to be very good with, the, with our pullout game. You're gonna see how good my pullout game is. Ready? Ah! Oh! He didn't move! It was good pullout game, and then Bushido just stood there for another. stood there, just didn't move for another two seconds. SOB wins the first tournament, and we're at, a, we're at 12 minutes now, so I'm gonna have to cut him short. Um, let's go and give him a grade. I mean, he didn't lose, but we didn't have many fights to really show of him. He was we he won in bullshit ways, but I don't think every win was like that. He had a lot of just dominated judges decisions, and this I mean the appearance was good. Weapon did well. If you could see sp uh, sparks in this game, then that that's what the points would have ended up being just a bunch of sparks. So I think I'm gonna give him an A. I'm happy with it. Um, the only thing we didn't really get to see a lot of was his win loss ratio accuracy, and that's only because I'm doing it in this format. So I will give him an A gladly. And now we will move on to our second robot, Little Sister. Um, I went with Little Sister, even though both sides of the transgender robot were suggested. I figured, I mean, Little Sister had more season appearances in BattleBots than Bigger Brother did. Bigger Brother obviously did a lot more Robot Wars stuff. I actually just watched his Series 5 in full, where he lost in the final to Razor, and he shouldn't have even gotten to the final, because Hypnodisc fucked him up. Anyway, this is not Robot Wars, this is BattleBots. Little Sister, built by, obviously, Ian Watts, and I don't remember the kids' names. I think it was, like, Joe and Ellie, Jack and Ellie. They were adorable back then, but kind of annoying. Um, 3-3 three and three record... The bot competed in the last three seasons, uh, three, four, and five, went, uh, I think one and one in everything. Actually, no, I'm looking at my notes, and the best finish was in the last 32 for both season three and season five, having losses against Kilohertz and Biohazard. Both of those are up for the rematches series now that Little Sister has appeared, and that's all I got. Um, okay, so, we went for, with the, we went for the two flipper system with Little Sister. I lined them up close, you see how the, uh, how I turned the motors. Uh, as opposed to how I did it with Hexadecimator. So now, that meant we were going to have a problem in the front, but obviously the game has a lot of glitches. I was easily able to realign um, how the start and end positions for each flipper were to make it look like that. And then, not a lot of battery power. It is kind of a small body. I mean, look at the weight. It's 420, and you take off 20 pounds, it's a middleweight. So it's small. It could have been built bigger. Maybe it'll get built bigger for some of the rematches or for the Reborn Cup series when that starts up. Who knows when. Um, so yeah, it wasn't that hard of a bot to make. It's kind of fun to design, and I think it's very accurate in appearance. We're going to go back to this shot. The body's not bad. It really isn't, and we've got little spikes in the front. I'm not going to lie, I did look off a picture I found on the internet where some guy was trying to do a bunch of recreations, kind of like how I'm doing. He was doing it for Robot Wars and BattleBots, kind of mixed, also with the Robot Arena 2 robots, and he was doing, like, the eighth series of Robot Wars since it ended at 7, which, I, I don't know if there's any videos of it. I want to like to see how the, some of those bots performed, but he did do Bigger Brother in a very similar format, but I don't think I copied it completely. I think I've made a couple changes. Oh, great, a 4 bot fight tournament. So we might get two, uh... We might get, oh shit, a little more friend. We might end up get oh, emergency. Oh, shit. We're probably definitely going to have to go into a second tournament. 
We're gonna have to take out Backyard Ripper first. Bang! And that's how effective the flipper is. This is bad! This is bad! I'm half the size of emergency! Jesus! No, fuck off! We can self right too, beautifully. I'm stuck. Oh, what is happening? I'm too far away. Emergency, stop moving. I can't self right anymore, as I said it. There we go, there we go. Get away, get away. It's about to open, it's about to open, it's about to open! I heard Ripper's gone. Little my friend is in the pulverizer. And emergency comes back for me because he's an asshole. Oh, I'm flipping in the. Oh my god, that was close, right towards the pulverizer. Get up! Get up, woman! Come on! Leave me alone, little metal friend. I'm trying to self right. You can get me later. Oh, that's a bad shot. I'm so close. I'm. Fuck you! I'm trying to self right! And now Emergency is gonna finish me off. Or the pulverize is gonna. <laughs> oh, that was disastrous. I don't know why I was struggling to self right. It might have been the battery started going low or something. But I was close and I was getting away and they considered me moving. So we are gonna have to go into a second tournament for the little sister. Which is not a problem. Snow job, this will be a quick victory, so we'll get to a next round. Either Eye of Poker or Coal Miner, as I saw. That's not really a good combination for the spot, either way. And as you can see, I've been talking the whole time, so I'm going to have to ask the questions at the end. I actually didn't think I was going to be able to think of good commentary during the fights, but it's working out. And there's the win against Snow Job, so actually, what we're going to do is I'll look at the first question. As you remember in Reborn 10, I asked you a few questions. I'm getting counted out, better move. So, first question is gonna, well, the first couple might be all kind of re, uh, reborn cut related. And the first one is, should there be a cutoff point? Where, at some point, so like we're 20 episodes in now, we have a decent amount of robots in the heavyweight division, but everything else is lacking. We could cut it off at 20 and say, okay, these bots are all eligible for the cup. I really don't want to do that, because I want to have as many bots as possible. I want to just wait, wait it out. Get as many robots in, see how long Reborn goes, and I'm pretty sure we can get a lot of bots. If the suggestions keep coming in, we should be fine. So, my opinion on that is I don't want to cut it off, I want to wait till Reborn's done, but I will also ask your guys' opinion, since you, the fans, are the ones that are going to keep this series alive by watching it. Your opinion is very much important to me, and very much valued. So then, let me try and pin eye poker here, before I look at the second question. I have five more, or I have five total lined up. Uh, two kind of go together. Oh, that was close. Damn it. We can do it. I know we can. Maybe I have to do it against the wall. How did I poker beat Coal Miner? I just thought of that. The simulation on this game, like, when you're fighting four bot fight tournaments and you see certain bots, like, I poker could go up against Coal Miner, get the shit kicked out of them. But if they, if it's a uh, anything else. If it's like a, a different round that you're not in for a four bot fight tournament, or if um, what am I trying to say? If they if they do a one on one like they do, we're gonna have to go for the the runaway technique, test my pullout game, and it was good enough just barely. Holy crap, that was close. I didn't think I made it. Well, we got lucky. We've beaten him. As you can see, the flipper does struggle, I think, because of the limited battery supply. If you don't flip your opponent early and get points early, it's kind of over. Next up, Grog the Warrior. Okay, here's this. let's go to the second question while the intro is going. And that is, should all the lightweights that have been built now and in the future be upgraded to middleweights for the ability to do rematches and, the, and for the Reborn Cup? And the reason I mention that is because of Ziggo. So obviously, I tried to make Ziggo a lightweight, and I tried, believe me, I tried at least an hour trying to get that body right, and it didn't work. I just couldn't do it. So he's a middleweight, and he's almost a heavyweight. He ended up being 390 and nearly won that on the first flip. So what I'm thinking is I've built up a version of Backlash for a middleweight so we can do the Backlash versus Ziggo rematch. And it occurred to me that I might have to build up all the lightweights um, for for the cup. And what that'll also do is allow for more lightweights to be done. One of the bots I've come up with that I wanted to do was Gamma Raptor, because I liked his... Uh, well, I, I mean, they're all basically the same, but Gamma Raptor, Season 3, is about when I started watching. Flip over, you piece of cunt! 
So, I wanted to do him just because, I mean, I like him. He's a cool bot. I tried making him already. Tried to make him a lightweight. Didn't work. I was struggling. He's not flipping himself over. No, he is. You're a cunt! I'm trying to do shit here, and you're not cooperating! This will probably be the end of Little Sister. 20 minutes. Maybe I'll do one more fight. We'll see. So, the thing with that, I'm... There might not be a decision with that. I'm going to ask you guys for your opinion anyway, but I may just decide that we have to do that to get more bots into the Reborn Cup. I'm going to I'm gonna pin him again, it looks like. But still, I'd like to hear your opinions on that because right now, Ziggo is a middleweight. Backlash is both a lightweight and a middleweight. In the middleweight version, I based it off his Season 5 look. It actually looks like Backlash as opposed to the lightweight version, which, which, was, which was shit. Let me... Let's, let's build up here. Those aren't important. The wedge, that's only 14 seconds. Didn't really need to do that. We can survive with that. T connector can't build. The motors doesn't matter. Now, when the battery comes up on here, I always wonder, is that does that mean that did I just recharge it? Or was it actually like what kind of what damage does it suffer? I'm not really the smartest when it comes to that kind of stuff, and I apologize. Um, need to build up the motors probably. 125, and that's all we can do. That's okay. And this will be an easy win against Backyard Ripper, if I can get the flip. Alright, third question. Um, so obviously, when the Reborn Cup is done, we have four weight classes that we've been doing. Lightweight, middleweight, heavyweight, super heavyweight, just like old BattleBots. And are we done? Maybe. I'm stuck. He's stuck. I think we're good. I'm stuck. Okay, I'm actually stuck. I'm trying to get away. Okay, we're good. So... We have four weight classes. Heavyweights, there's more than 20, almost 30, I think, at this point. And he's barely creeping away. But every other division is in single digits. Uh, there's five super heavyweights. Actually, no, there's like 10 middleweights now with SOB. And four lightweights. It's pretty rough in the lightweight division and the super heavyweights. So, for the Reborn Cup only, do we combine weight classes? Do super heavyweights and heavyweights get combined, and then middleweights and lightweights get combined? Which adds to the second question about building up lightweights. I really don't want to do that. I'm thinking we'll eventually get more suggestions for other robots to do to fill in those other weight classes and shouldn't be a problem. But, I mean, I figured I'd mention that to you guys as a thought. Now, one thing we could do, Son of Baiachi has been listed as a heavyweight uh, in everything, and... He did actually have two seasons as a super heavyweight, though his one heavyweight year was uh, his title run, title win. So, to start making things a little bit easier, we could throw him in the super heavyweight division. So, let me know if you want him to be a heavyweight or super heavyweight. I don't, I don't really care which one he is. It doesn't matter. And then, okay, question four. The format of Reborn Cup. I didn't realize most of these were about Reborn, uh, the plans for the BattleBots Reborn Cup. So, when I mean what's the format, obviously... Old BattleBots was straight up single elimination knockout bracket kind of style. And it was lose, you go home immediately, even if it was in the first round. If you didn't turn on your controller or something, you were done. That was it. Um, the, it was a little different. It was, it was a little weird for Robot Wars. Um, they kept doing little groups, but it was still some were single elimination, some where you get a second chance. So basically what I was thinking of doing is groups of four or five, depending on what the numbers are, and... Top one or two from each group advance to a then then go to a knockout round. I feel like each recreated bot then has a chance at least to prove themselves in multiple fights. You know, while I'm talking, we're gonna do more little sister fights. I didn't realize that sitting here was not the best idea. So, I mean, they have more than one chance to do well. You could have one bot that just comes up against somebody he can't beat and gets a second chance, does better, qualifies for the playoffs. And really would be a lot better. Let's come on. I can pin Coal Miner, but I bet you Hanky Panky's gonna fucking ruin my plans. Or oh, that cunt. You know, why am I always in the middle of this? Look at that. They're both just chasing after me while hitting each other. Fuck off! I think I lost something. Yep. Okay, we're done. We're not gonna be able to win this fight. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking... I, I want to do group stages, then knockout. Since it's not quite how old BattleBots was, if people say no to that, I don't blame you, and I completely understand, and we can do single elimination knockout, just one big bracket. 
I will post when when we are wait, ready to do that. There will be a video of uh, a draw. We're gonna have like the, just the drawing of the matchups, and it'll be might be. Uh, I think it'll be a fun way to start things off. And then, what is our last question? The last question is: Would you like to see a Q and A, Q and A battle box themed, or just with this robot stuff in general? It can actually be three part. It can be BattleBots, Robot Arena 2, Robot Arena 3, even. Even the whole series, fuck it. And so BattleBots, Robot Wars, and Robot Arena 3. Any Robot Arena. God damn it, I keep fucking that up. I'm so sorry. So, we can do anything. And, I mean, if I'm eager to see what your favorite bots are. I assume what you guys suggested are your favorite bots, your favorite teams, your favorite fights. Um, let's build a little community around. Battle bots. It seems like everything's going well so far, and I've had, I mean, there's a few dedicated fans that you guys watch all the videos, you comment all the time, and I'm very appreciative of it, and even, what was it, did I show it last episode? No, I don't think I showed it. Um, Thomas, you remember sending me that Sage Ultimatum thing, that scary bot recreation from, uh, I think it was from Game Tech Mods. I think I just lost the other flipper, and I did, so I'm going to lose this fight. That's okay. And Sentinel lost a wheel. Coal Miner's obviously won. See, Coal Miner has kicked all of our asses, but if this was any other round where I wasn't involved, he might lose to some of these bots. So I always have to make up something in my head. Why did they lose? But yeah, so anyway, Q&A on the cards, uh, if you feel like it. You know, we're just going to go in for the kill. Fuck you! Fuck everyone! I've got one spike, and I'm not afraid to use it! Oh, I'm so dead. It's, it's 20 seconds left, it's okay. In fact, I'm just gonna stop driving, and I'm gonna work on a little sum our little summary here. So, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i put another uh, comment if you wanna copy the ideas, uh, uh, copy the questions, and then put your answers with them, or if you don't want to do that, it's okay. So, to summarize the questions, number one, should there be a cutoff point for the Reborn Cup? where we start it now and then do a second one with all the other bots or we wait and do one long one. Number two, should all lightweights be rebuilt to middleweights so that we can do more lightweights and do more rematches with them because Ziggo's a middleweight. Should we combine weight classes for the Reborn Cup? Super heavyweights and heavyweights combine, lightweights and middleweights combine. The format, do you want to see group stages at all or do you want it to be all the way like a huge single elimination bracket thing? And then, do you want to see a BattleBots Reborn Q&A? That is all I have. Hopefully, the people that suggested Little Sister and Robot Arena... And Robot Arena? Oh my god, I'm all over the place. Hopefully, the people that suggested SOB and Little Sister enjoyed seeing the recreated bots. Um, yeah, I think, and I think that'll be it for Little Sister. I was thinking about repainting the bot and doing Bigger Brother for Robot Wars, but... I mean, maybe. It's not a bad idea, right? It was whoever uh, sees the different videos will just have to remember, oh, it's basically the same bot, I've already seen it. I've already seen it, it's no problem. So yeah, that's that's all I have. Um, get ready for episode 21, I've got some hilarious plans for it, and I can't wait to get that started and show you guys when the time is. And also, of course, there will be a new thumbnail to look for, I think I'll probably just do an orange background of something similar with pictures in the back. Just wanted to make sure you guys are aware of that, so... When change happens, you know. So thank you for watching. This has been a 30-minute video. Holy shit. I'm so sorry. If you don't watch the whole thing, I definitely understand. But if you do, if you got to this point, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in episode 21. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Huh. Bear with a broken arm. Is that Jay Cutler? Rock.